Hey, welcome everyone. So today I'm going to uh, discuss a question which is based on basically the diastereo uh, selective aldol condensation. So the question given here is this is an uh, ketone and it is treated with this compound. This is bor bor uh, boron dicyclohexyl chloride. That is boron. There are two cyclohexane rings attached to the boron and chloride. So this and triethyl amine uh, which, which will give a enolate and then uh, it will react, the enolate will react with this uh, aldehyde to give the product B. So this type of questions uh, comes in uh, CSIR exam or GATE exam very frequently. So this is a very uh, important question for you. Now, uh, sorry, so uh, now uh, to solve this solve this question you have to be familiar with the with a model which is known as Zimmerman Traxler model for uh, diastereo selective aldol condensation so the today's topic which we will discuss is the Zimmerman Traxler model Z I M M E R Zimmerman Traxler T I X L E R model okay so uh, in my previous video, I told about aldol condensation reaction where I mentioned that aldol condensation reactions occurs in uh, acidic or basic medium and I told uh, and in that particular video, I showed you the examples of safe aldol condensation. But suppose uh, you have to do aldol condensation like uh, this one, like this is your uh, one ketone and you want to react it with an uh, say an aldehyde okay so in this case if you uh, simply treat it with uh, acid or base you will end up with mixture of aldol products so uh, it it can be that so what products you will get you will get a product like this okay uh, so in this case this this component goes in organization and it will attack on this or uh, plus you will also get you will also get uh, this okay so in this case this will analyze and re react on it uh, in addition to that this compound goes in analyzation and it will attack on the same compound to get, give self and all and same is true for this so you will get a mixture of product so to avoid this you have to do something that your uh, aldol will be selective in its reaction so how can you do it so you will first convert this ketone to its enolate completely so it will be treated with very strong base and the base generally used is LDA okay so when we treat it with LDA it will completely enolize and give this enolate so this is lithium so LDA is basically lithium diisopropyl amide okay so this is a very hindered base and very strong base. So your enolate will be formed. Now when uh, you will react it with your aldehyde, what will be the case is that this uh, carbonyl will uh, coordinate with this lithium and this enolate will attack on this carbon on this carbonyl center. Now uh, if you look carefully, you will see that this uh, so. There may be another group, so let's say there is another methyl group. Okay, so if this is the case, then you you must look that this center and this center both are diastereo uh, diastereotopic. Okay, both phases the these two phases it's two phases down phase up phase and uh, this for this uh, aldehyde also the down phase and up phase are uh, diastereotopic because in this aldehyde. If you react on down phase, you will get say a nucleophile attack here. So you will get a product. Then, if uh, so, if the attack occurs from the down phase, uh, occurs from uh, attack occurs from the up phase, you will get this product. And if the attack occurs from the down phase, you will get another product. Okay, so. So this will be the case. So uh, these these uh, phases are diastereotopic. So what will be the product to predict the outcome? Uh, 
these two famous scientists Zimmerman and Traxler they proposed a model uh, they uh, proposed a model of a six membered uh, cyclic transition state chair form which is a chair form actually and they said that uh, the alloy reaction goes via this chair form six member cyclic transition state so uh, I will uh, uh, show you how to draw this mechanism and you should uh, pick up your pen and paper so that you can uh, write the mechanism with me so uh, you can uh, very easily understand the concept how to draw the uh, transition state and if you uh, follow my drawing carefully you will be able to draw it so so the transition state will be six members so we can place the lithium at the top and this will be the six member transition state so we have to draw our transition state like this now what are our components so we have a lithium enolate now uh, so lithium enolate can be drawn like this here will be one oxygen atom and another oxygen will coordinate also with lithium so there will be another oxygen so our transition state will be like so this this let's say we put our enolate component here okay now our uh, enolate is like this uh, O minus lithium here the phenyl and the methyl let's say uh, this enolate is uh, E enolate that is uh, this oxygen and methyl are in opposite direction you can also have the Z enolate like when the methyl group is in the same direction with the oxygen then you have Z enolate so this is Z, uh, this is Z enolate and this is E enolate okay so Z with respect to these two groups now for our case we take the E enolate okay so E the, there is E enolate now we have to place the we have to so we have to place the phenyl group here and uh, you may look you may understand that the phenyl group has to be placed in the axial position it has no option left so it will be placed in the axial position now you have to determine from the geometry of this enolate that where we should place this methyl group now as you can see for e enolate this methyl and the phenyl group are in same direction so the methyl group will occupy the equatorial position if it were z alkene z enolate then it, we should place it in the axial position okay now uh, the turn for the L, uh, our aldehyde now our aldehyde will also coordinate with the lithium and in this case if you have an aldehyde like this okay so you have an aldehyde like this it is methyl and it is hydrogen so when you place this aldehyde here you have to uh, carefully consider where you should place this methyl group and where this hydrogen group so there are two positions one is axial and one is equatorial now you 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 are if you are familiar with the uh, configuration of the cyclohexane ring you will be easily um, you, you can say easily that uh, the hydrogen uh, the small hydrogen atom will be placed in the axial position and the uh, relatively more hindered methyl group will be placed in the equatorial position now this is the uh, this is the stru uh, structure of the transition state now what can happen is that this oxygen will coordinate with this lithium now it will uh, this uh, negative charge will go here and attack occurs from here so how the transition state will actually look like is so here we have the lithium now this is the oxygen this is another oxygen and so here a new bond is forming and here the pi bond is breaking okay so we have phenyl group here and methyl group here and now in this case also a new bond a bond is breaking and here a new bond is forming so you have hydrogen here and methyl here so this is the actual transition state for the Zimmerman and Trexler model so what will be the product so the product will be hydrogen OLI methyl and in this case a ketone will be generated here so we have methyl and hydrogen so if we draw it in proper way and treat it with uh, workup done with 
uh, acidic quark ka then what we will get is this one so we have oh here the methyl here the hydrogen here the methyl and here the coh so this will be the product okay so this will be the product of our uh, diastereoselective aldol condensation now you can easily tell what will be the case if we we have the z alkene instead of e alkene so if we had the z alkene then you have to just change this methyl group so in that case the methyl group will be in the axial position because they two are in opposite this phenyl and methyl are in opposite direction so in this case also they will be opposite and from that what product we will get is so hydrogen this this side is same so oh now here will be the methyl group and here will be the hydrogen okay and co ph okay so this the configuration of this center will be altered so this is the zimmerman and trexler model now uh we let us come back to our initial problem so what we had we had a compound a uh, ketone like this okay so when it is treated with triethylamine triethylamine is a weak base and it will deprotonate here to give this enolate o minus okay now what will be the geometry of this enolate uh, actually there is a phenyl group which is uh, more bulkier than this oxygen so the preferential geometry will be the z uh, z enolate okay but uh, in this case the difference is very small so we will get a mix mixture of z and e enolate okay and uh, this equilibrium will very much sh shifted towards the uh, left hand side because uh, triethylamine is too weak base to deprotonate this so only a small amount of uh, this enolate will be populated but we have boron cyclohexyl chloride in our medium and this lone pair uh, this uh, negative charge will attack here to displace this chloride chloride to give this stable enolate okay now what is interesting that in this case after formation of this enolate this is a very bulky group this boron cyclohexyl group is very bulky group so the most populated enolate will be the e enolate where the methyl and the phenyl group are in same same direction so this uh, presence of this uh, boron cyclohexyl group determines what will be the structure of this enolate and further reaction of it will give the product so this is our a now we react it with our aldehydes uh, r c o h so this is our aldehyde so what will be the transition state according to the zimmerman trexler model so we have in place of now in place of lithium we have boron and two cyclohexyl groups are there so this boron will be coordinated with this oxygen and uh, the bond one bond is breaking and there is new bond is forming there so here will be the phenyl group we already said that the phenyl will always and this group not phenyl whatever the group will be at, it has no option but it will have to be in axial position and now we have the we have our uh, so we have our aldehyde so in case of aldehyde the hydrogen will be in axial position and r will be in equatorial position and this oxygen will be bonded with the boron so in this case this is a uh, this is an e alkene that is phenyl and methyl are in same direction and so we have methyl and phenyl are in same direction so this will be the transition state okay so this will be the transition state the reaction and now what will be the product so the product will be so we have not space here so let us write the product in the upper section so what will be the product the product will be this one so here we have hydrogen now we have r 
and O B cyclohexane on two eyes. Now we have methyl here hydrogen and here uh, CO pH. Okay, so if we work up with acid, acid work up is done, then what will be the product? So you uh, now we will write it in a proper way. So the proper way of writing is hydrogen this R this OH here is hydrogen and here is the methyl and COPH so this will be our product so this is B so this will be our product so you have uh, seen that this is the anti product anti product in the sense that this OH and the methyl group are in opposite direction so this is anti product or you can say the hydrogen and this are opposite direction so this is the anti product we have for form so uh, by applying the Zimmerman Traxler model you can solve the problem like this this will be very helpful if you fully understand the concept every year uh, one or uh, one question is asked from this uh, uh, the selective alcohol condensation and for to solve this question you must have no, you must have the knowledge of Zimmerman Traxler model so i hope this video video will be helpful for you and if you like the video then please give a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and uh, also please subscribe my channel thank you